COVID-19 has undoubtedly impacted our personal and professional lives. I remember when my school stopped doing in-person classes back in March. We thought it was just going to be for two weeks, but then two weeks became three weeks, a month, two months, three months, four months, and we're still doing things remotely. So lately I've been thinking about how I can contribute in my own little way towards eradicating the coronavirus. This video is about how I joined three other students at my school, together with their supervisor, to create an anonymous contact tracing app for COVID-19. Enjoy. A few weeks ago, the University System in Maryland announced a challenge to students and the university community to create a mobile application solution that could help bring Marylanders together to more effectively respond to COVID-19 and future pandemics. The idea was to create an app that could solve some sort of COVID-19 related problem. My team, consisting of a doctoral student, a master's student, myself, and another undergraduate student, together with our supervisor, decided to submit an entry for this challenge. But instead of jumping into coding, even though we had about two weeks to build the app, we chose to listen to residents of Maryland and hear from them what they would like to see in such a product. Our approach was very user-centric. We decided to tackle two main problems, access to relevant information and contact tracing. For the information part, we realized that a lot of COVID-19 related information and statistics is very generic. So we wanted to provide each user with stats that were only relevant to them, specifically tailored to their zip code and C. Contact tracing was the most fun in my opinion. As you may know, digital contact tracing is a very controversial topic. You gotta find the sweet spot between optimal contact tracing and protecting users' privacy. Our contact tracing approach is completely anonymous. Our application does not collect any personal information and most importantly, it does not track users' location. In fact, our entire app is authentication free. The way this works is with a DP3T algorithm. See, we use Bluetooth technology to ping nearby devices within a specific radius. When these devices are pinged, they intermittently exchange unique random strings with each other. We even go a step further to only store the strings locally on the user's device. Say for example, John and Emily were in an Uber pool. During that time, their phones were seamlessly communicating if John tests positive for COVID-19 after a few days, John chooses to tell the app to upload all the random strings his device has sent to other devices in the last few weeks to a central database which contains only strings that have been sent from people who tested positive. From here, Emily's phone and every other phone can routinely check this database against their own local database of strings that they have received to see if there is a match. If there is ever a match, Emily simply knows that within the last 14 days, she has been in contact with someone who tested positive and she can self-isolate. That way, we can effectively trace contacts and protect users' privacy, with no parties involved ever having an idea of who the other person is, who they were with, or where they went. A more detailed explanation of the DP3T algorithm was made by a channel called 3 blue One brown and I'll link their video in the description. Here's a demo of how the app works. Hi, Charles here. So here's how the app works. There are three main screens, the map screen, stat screen, and resources screen. As you open the app, it immediately detects your location and shows you a data snapshot relevant to your current city and or zip code. Snapshot data includes total cases and your zip code, the total population and your zip code, infection rate, total tests performed, and the number of acute and ICU beds in use. You can also search for data in other zip codes and cities. If you zoom out the map, the app shows you a graduated circle map representing all the zip codes in Maryland. The bigger the circle, the more cases there are in that zip code. This is to give you a holistic idea of the spread of coronavirus in Maryland. The stats page shows detailed statistics for the entire state and every zip code. The resources page has links on where to find relevant information about COVID-19 including pandemic updates and access to health supplies. In the end, we succeeded in building a lightweight app that would help people feel safe to return to work as Maryland begins to reopen. We're very proud of what we've built and we're excited to share it with the world. We've also submitted our entry to the judges, and as I record this video, our prototype is being evaluated for its performance. So, what next? 
Well, right now we just have a prototype and we think our design is great, but there are a lot more questions that we need to answer in order for this to become an actual product. One thing I know for sure is that we're hoping to research and stay up to date with contact tracing methods, and we're also making our code open source so that other developers can build off of our work. Again, I'm really proud of what we did. And personally, I'm delighted that I used my skills to contribute to such a global issue. I'll upload an update video once we hear back from the judges, so subscribe if you don't want to miss that. But in the meantime, you can also learn more about our work in the link in the description. So thanks for watching and uh, stay safe.